Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, we're going to go over the best features of the upcoming Star Citizen Alpha 3.15. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on future videos. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or if you just like to hang out, make sure to leave me a follow there as well. All my links are down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. The first feature I like to talk about is the infiltrate and defend missions. Underground facilities will receive the benefits from the addition of spawn closets. This will allow CIG to expand on the types of missions that can take place there. These mission types will range from all out assaults to situations where you would be able to complete the mission without engaging in combat. This will be the first time we experience FPS stealth gameplay. I can see how this will work in conjunction with the FPS radar and scanning feature. We'll talk a little bit about this later. I find this very exciting. There will be lawful and unlawful variants of these missions. Adjusting shops and VMA to support the required API changes for player local and physical inventory. Some of the transaction code will be refactored. Several additional debugging options will be added to assist in faster bug resolution. The vehicle management app will be updated so that players can only adjust ships loadouts if they're within the location that they currently are. This feature will work in conjunction with the asset management mobile glass app. In 3.15, CIG will be introducing the asset management app. This keeps track of all player owned items, where they are stored and where they need to go to pick them up, transfer and equip them. From the sound of this, players will need to identify a station or a landing zone where they'll want to keep all their things at. This will make things easier to customize your ships, weapons, and army loadouts. I'm also curious about the transfer feature. Will we be able to transfer items or ships from station to station or landing zone to landing zone? Nonetheless, I cannot wait until I get my hands on this feature. Another exciting feature is the active feature, personal inventory. Players will be able to physically store weapons, gadgets, consumables, healing items and more on their person and in their vehicles via backpacks, pockets and containers. This utilizes the new iCash persistence wherever players travel. I am very excited about this as we will begin to see iCash finally implemented. This is crucial for the kind of gameplay they intend to deliver with the inventory and looting feature. I wonder if our souvenirs will finally be able to stay persistent on our ships. Exciting stuff. Going along with physical inventory, the loot generation tier 0 will generate containers throughout the persistent universe. This includes crates, lockers and boxes. These will contain dynamically populated randomized loot. This feature really excites me. I feel that the loot generation will promote more exploration amongst the player base. I hope CIG will consider dropping rare and unique items in hidden and hard to reach areas. PvP will also be a thing as pirates will engage other players strictly for their loot. This feature will bring big changes to how we play the game. The FPS radar and scanning includes an improved signature system that supports a much greater distance and dampening of signatures by environmental interferences and larger entities. This feature will be available for player ships, in ground vehicles and on foot. With an introduction to the stealth gameplay for player characters on foot, I'm curious to see the types of gadgets we can use to conceal our position. Perhaps stealthy flight suit and armor? Healing tier 0 includes all tasks related to the initial implementation of the healing feature that will be used in future locations and mission updates. To go in conjunction with this, they are also introducing the NPC healing feature. Now this enables players to heal other players and NPCs. This will allow players to use items with healing properties such as med pens on other players and NPCs. I can see how they integrate this in the current and future missions. For example, the 890 jump mission where the player character will be responsible for rescuing and healing the victims. The Cure Life Healing Gun and Multi-Tool Healing Attachment will be used to administer drugs to help heal players and NPCs. Also perform diagnostic assessments of the player character to identify any injuries. Coming along with Healing Tier 0 are the locations. The Grim Hex Clinic, Rest Stop Clinics, Horizon Hospital and the New Babbage Hospital. 
Also, CIG will be introducing the first bombs in the game. These systems would allow players in certain ships to drop a variety of powerful bombs over targets in atmosphere. I'm curious to see the types of bombs they'll initially introduce. I wonder if other ships aside from the Crusader Hercules Starlifter A2 will be able to deploy bombs. Updating the Arena Commander Broken Moon map by increasing the overall size and adding new playable areas, more cover options, and new space assets. And lastly, the vehicles that they'll be adding is the Aegis Redeemer, Crusader Industries Hercules Starlifter A2, and the Crusader Industries Ares Ion and Inferno. What features are you most excited for in the upcoming Star Citizen Alpha 3.15? Let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.